now on BBC Two. Four people have spent 24 hours trying to learn 24 hours of news. Have they revised enough? What will they remember? This is The Cram on Friday, June the 18th, 2004. Good evening. Anybody know how Wayne Rooney's been getting on in Portugal? Our brains normally use 20% of the blood pumped by the heart and between 15 and 20% of the body's oxygen. I imagine those figures go through the roof when you're trying to remember the volume of details our candidates have been cramming into their minds. And then, as if that weren't enough, there's the frightening prospect of being interrogated by Michelle Hussein. These tough but fair questions will cover all aspects of the day's news, from UK and foreign news to business, arts, media and sport. Rather them than me. So, how have they prepared? Have a look at the last 24 hours in the lives of our crammers. Let's see who fancies their chances. My bets are on Rebecca winning tonight. Rebecca could be getting information overload. She's got a photographic memory. She seems to be able to read the stuff and it just sticks. Beats me. <laughs> I think Rebecca's really focused. If I had to put a bet on anyone to win, I suppose I'd put it on myself. I think she'll probably do it. With the right questions, I could definitely beat her. Gerard! Hope you didn't celebrate too much. The candidates have had access to TV and radio news bulletins, the internet, and all the daily newspapers. They've used whatever learning techniques suit them best, and in a moment we'll find out how successful those techniques have been. Our candidates tonight are Kath, Leslie, and over there, Mark, and last night's winner, Rebecca. Rebecca, you're still cool, calm, and collected today? I'm trying to be. <laughs> Kath said uh, earlier on that you had a photographic memory. Was she right? Um, I wish I did, but no, I don't think so. You still haven't got any notes, though. I, d I just don't understand how it all goes into your brain. Um, I'm just not making notes so that I can spend more time learning the papers and the internet and all. All right. Sort of OK. Let's get down to business as quick as we can and switch off all the information because it's time to be tested. Now, Kath, you're in pole position and first to go into the hot seat. Um, you've got a very interesting technique involving lots of different colours. Yeah. Um, can you explain <laughs> that to me? It's a system that worked at uni. We've still got to wait and see whether it works for this. Um, but I found at uni I spent more time actually looking at the walls rather than actually... Yeah, you're putting them all up on the walls there. How That's does that work right. for you? Well, each module at uni had a different colour and as and when I learnt the information I'd pull it off the wall so you can feel you're making progress. Unfortunately there's been a little less time to work on that this time so I've had sort of main news in the blue, as mm -hmm. was a lot of that, and then um, business things in red, so to try and help it just sink in in the different topic areas. Okay, well, we'll, we'll have see. to wait and see if it's, if it's done the trick or we, not. We'll see later on about <laughs> that. Uh, for the moment, and for you at home, a reminder of the rules. The candidates are asked the same number of questions, and they have five seconds to answer or say, move on. When their time's up, they'll hear this sound. You'd be wasting your time and breath if you ask Michelle to repeat anything, but there is a point for every question answered correctly. Kath, let's test your tapestry technique. Good luck. It's time to be tested. Kath, your test starts now. Lead stories, please have a look at this. Another example of the confusion. The authorities were still debating whether to intercept American Flight 11 more than one hour after it had already crashed into the North Tower. Uh, do we want to think about uh, scrambling aircraft? Oh, God, I don't know. Uh, that's a decision somebody's going to have to make probably in the next 10 minutes. Uh, you know, everybody just left the room. Coverage of the 9-11 Commission. They heard voice recordings of which hijacker for the first time? Mohammed Atta. Correct. Which England footballer was described as a baby elephant on the front page of today's Times? Wayne Rooney. Correct. National news. And at which nuclear power plant have British Energy acknowledged a radioactive leak last week? 
Selhurst, no, it's Hartlepool Nuclear Power Station, named the surgeon who changed his plea to guilty in the manslaughter case of one of his patients at the Old Bailey. Richard Walker. No, it was Stephen Walker. Please listen to this. The village has spectacular scenery, but no pub, post office or village hall. Now, however, it can boast three yurts, round igloo-shaped buildings made of wood and fabric, each around 20 feet in diameter. Sarah Mukherjee talking this morning. In which village have those yurts been built? Path. It's Bronnygarth. Which organization said that environmental hazards account for 100,000 child deaths each year in Europe? Um, the Environmental Standards Agency. No, it was the World Health Organization. Take a look now at this picture. What is the name of that comet that has a mile-long footprint on it? No, pass. It's Wild 2. Business news, and which computer games developer has admitted it may be too small to survive on its own? Um, I don't know how you pronounce it, IADOS. Correct. Which UK high street bank has announced today it'll cut up to 3,500 head office and support jobs? HSBC. Correct. Arts now, and a group of actors, including Victoria Wood, is helping to fund a statue in Brighton of which wartime comedian? Max Miller. Correct. Entertainment news. An expensive camera equipment has been stolen from which TV show that secretly films thieves in action? Crime Watch. No, it's swag. Actress Drew Barrymore is set to marry the drummer from which New York rock band? Pass. It's The Strokes. Have a look now at this. Give it a shot. What's that supposed to mean? She loves me, Shelley. She told me last night, Natalie. Should I get her flowers or candy? What is happening to you? Flowers. That was a clip from which film opening in UK cinemas today? The Cooler. Correct. Celebrities in which model is reported to be buying a pink Aston Martin? Elle McPherson? No, it's Jordan. Have a look at this. That's Victoria and Brooklyn Beckham supporting the England team. What had he drawn a picture of? An aeroplane. Correct. Sport, and who will British tennis player Alex Bogdanovich play in the first round at Wimbledon? Greg Rosetsky. No, it's Roger Federer. In rugby league, Martin Gleeson and which other player received bans for betting on their team to lose? Lawrence Delalio. No, Sean Long. Local news for you. Name the man who foiled a robbery at his car showroom by immobilizing the thieves' getaway car. No, I read the article, but pass. It was John Glanville. Kathy, your test is over. You've scored seven points. So Kath survived her solo test, which many people say is the most terrifying part of the program. Come and have a seat, Kath. Was it better or worse than you expected? Hard to say. Um, in all honesty, there are a few questions that I'd hoped would come up, and I'd sort of remember them in specific ways, so I was lucky with that. But there were a couple, just like mixing up the names of surgeons that are going through court procedures and so on. Um, I, I seem to have crossed first names with somebody else's surname. Were the, were the coloured stickies helpful? Uh, to some extent, yes. I think you probably need a little longer to really benefit from that as a, as a technique, really. Okay. Thank you very much for the moment. Whoever performs best in both their solo and and finally tests will walk away with a £1,000 for their trouble. And for those of you playing along at home, here's a reminder of who and what's made the headlines today, Friday, June the 18th, 2004. Is this real world or exercise? No, it's not an exercise, not a test. No one had any idea that this would happen next. We want him to come back because I don't have nobody. We won't stop until we actually get equal rights to seeing our children. One room is something very special, I must say. Only a fool does not look to explain his mistakes. Now, Leslie, I gather this is your first visit to London, is that right? It is, yeah. Have you been sightseeing at all? No, I've just had my head in the papers. <laughs> so you'll leave that till after the show, will you? Yeah, yeah. And, and did you get much sleep last night? 
Um, no, I think I got about four hours. Four hours? So you, what time did you get up? Half six. I mean, you've been cramming away since then, have you? Yeah. Can you cope on four hours sleep? No, my brain's fudge. <laughs> Is it? You're in a terrible way. But uh, Kath did very well there in her first test. I gather that both of you were very frightened you might score none at all. Is yeah. that right? I still am. You still are? <laughs> yeah. But she, she did well, so yeah. presumably you can. She got all my questions. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Leslie, off you go into our bright lights. Good luck. It's time to be tested. Leslie, your test starts now. Lead stories, and it's reported that the government will pledge to cut hospital waiting times to how many weeks? Move on. It's 18. Please watch this. If England had lost last night, they would have been on their way home today. With stakes that high, this is how Rooney responded. But he wasn't finished. In the burning heat of Quimbra, the teenager kept his cool long enough to score a second. That was England beating Switzerland last night. Who scored England's third goal? Steve Gerrard. Correct. National News. And name the nurse who is today found guilty of the attempted murder of two of her elderly patients. Uh, Barbara Salisbury. Correct. How much was the fine given to motorist Frank Benson after he took both hands off the wheel to make obscene gestures at a speed camera? £100. Correct. Watch this. As the first few patients did well, doctors realised heart transplants were an incredible advance in the treatment of heart failure. I felt absolutely marvellous since my operation. Some patients are now helped by mechanical hearts as they wait for a transplant, but there's still no substitute for the real thing. Today is the anniversary of Britain's first heart transplant operation. How many years ago did it take place? 25. Correct. Which countries controversially requested a further year-long exemption for its soldiers from the International Criminal Court? America. Correct. Look at this now. That's this morning's Independent. Which European leader's name has been blanked out from the headline? Uh, Blair. No, it was Jacques Chirac. Business, and name the brand of cigarettes that's been recalled in America after an ad campaign was found to target children. Rothmans. No, cool. Which regulatory body has released a report today on the efficiency of the 118 Directory Inquiry Services? The National Audit Office. No, it was Ofcom. In the arts, a painting by Francis Bacon went on display today after being kept hidden from public view in which country? Iran. Correct. Entertainment news. Listen to this. Do you agree with the idea that gay men have better taste than straight men? I think the perception was that they used to, but I think that's a lot less so now. I think with the rise of the sort of the metrosexual man, and that's a straight man with gay sensibilities, i.e. he knows what aftershave bar is or wear pastel colours and happily go shopping in Habitat. A discussion on the Today programme this morning surrounding which new series that starts tonight on Channel 4? Pa move on. It's Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Which EastEnders actor has been voted Inside Soap's best-loved Cockney Jack the Lad? Shane Ritchie. Correct. Which singer's announced that he'll go on a national pub crawl to publicise his new album? Robbie Williams. No, it's Badly Drawn Boy. Which actor's joined a campaign to ban the production of Foie Gras in California? Move on. It's Martin Sheen. Please look at this. Seen in today's papers, that's Mick Jagger talking to which model? Mm. Move on. It's Dieter Von Tees. Sport, and which British golfer carded his worst round in 18 US Opens? Tiger Woods. No, Nick Faldo. Who beat Greg Rosetsky at the Nottingham Open? You're a Thomas Johan? No, so it was Thomas <laughs> Johansson. Local news for you now, and Kilmarnock striker Gary McSwegan is reportedly in talks with which English football club? I don't know. It's Grimsby Town. Leslie, your test is over. You've scored seven points. Two tests down and two to go, and Leslie's back from the hot seat. You started really well, Leslie, but then you hit a rough patch, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> is it celebrity that gets you? 
Um, no, I just couldn't. There was only so much I could put into my mind, and then everything else I just left out. So some of these things I hadn't even looked at. All right, Kath, what did you think of her performance? I thought it was a very good attempt. If I'd have got that round, I wouldn't be on seven right now. Oh, right, so. So you, you were impressed, were you? I was, yes. Uh, and, and, and Leslie, with the nerves in there? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, OK. Well done. We'll see how the end finally round does for you. Let's move over here and have a word with our next contestant, Mark. Hello, Hi. Mark. Hello. Um, I gather you worked for an airline and you were hoping to get some help from your colleagues there. Did That's that pay right. off? Uh, yes, it did, yes. Uh, a few of them have been uh, emailing me some questions today just to test me on what's been happening in the news. So what subjects yeah. are really worrying you? Um, I'm all right on sports. I'm just concerned about politics, maybe, in business. So. Do you think you've got Rebecca in your sights? She was yesterday's winner. I'm hoping so. <laughs> All right, Mark. Let's uh, see how it goes when you fly solo. Good luck. It's Thank time to be tested. Thank you. Mark, your test starts now. Lead stories, and at the EU summit, France has rejected which British politician for the post of European Commission President? Chris Patton. Correct. At Euro 2004, England striker Wayne Rooney was booked for a foul on which Swiss player? Goalkeeper. So it's, don't know. So, uh, move on. I needed his name, which was York Steele. National news, and listen to this. In the 18 months we've been going, there's an unprecedented debate about the state of family law in this country. It's not just us saying it, it's Bob Geldof saying it, you've got judges coming out and saying it, you've got solicitors coming out and saying it. That was Matt Connor on Five Live this morning. Which campaign group that held a march today is he talking about? Fathers for Justice. Correct. A Lancaster University researcher claims that which regional accent is getting stronger while others weaken? Uh, Scouse. Correct. International news, and watch this. A 300-pound black bear wandered in. The animal walked through hallways before finding its way into a computer room. At first, I thought somebody in a bear costume. That's exactly what I thought. But when I saw the short legs, I, I've seen bear in my life, and when I saw it running with the short legs, I knew this ain't no joke. That bear caused commotion in which hospital? Rocky Mount. No, it was the Carillion Franklin Memorial Hospital. Which country claims it warned the U.S. government that Saddam Hussein planned to attack America? Russia. Correct. A NASA rover on which planet has found rock formations known as blueberries? Mars. Correct. Business news. And name the EU competition commissioner who's decided to allow the merger of Sony Music and BMG. Move on. It's Mario Monti. Have a look now at this. What's the name of the company that owns the media rights to Bob the Builder, which has issued a profit warning? Hit. Correct. In theatre news, which actor is said to be playing Randall P. McMurphy in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest at the Edinburgh Festival this year? Christian Slater. Correct. Entertainment news, and Elton John shocked fans last night with a diamond chain bearing a rude message. In which city was he performing? Seattle. No, it was Bristol. Have a look at this. It cost nine million pounds, covers 1,200 acres. Today, an inquiry said of 300 acres being contested, more than 130 should now be opened up to the public. Which singer owns that property on the Wiltshire-Dorset border? Madonna. Correct. According to the Forbes Celebrity 100, who has replaced Jennifer Aniston as the world's most powerful celebrity? Mel Gibson. Correct. Please look at this picture. Who is this patriotic driver? Steve McFadden. Correct. Which actress has rejected Kabbalah teaching, saying she lives by their principles already? Julia Roberts. No, it's Kelly Brook. Sport and former Zimbabwe cricket captain Heath Streak is set to sign an extension to his contract with which county? Hampshire. No, it's Warwickshire. In last night's France versus Croatia match, who scored the French equaliser? David Trezeguet. Correct. News from your area now. According to the St. Helens Star, reports of which film star being seen in the town are untrue. Ah, I should know this. No. It was Johnny Depp. Mark, your test is over. You've scored 11 points. So, Rebecca, Mark got 11 points in his first round, and that was your first round score last night. Do you feel under pressure now to do even better? 
Yeah, I would have preferred to have gone first before anyone else had racked up their scores, but we'll see what I can and do. And have you seen questions that you would have wanted going past you there? Um, yeah, but also questions that Mark got right that I wouldn't have. So you did well there, Mark. Are you pleased with your score? Ah, uh, I think I should have done better with a few. I was kicking myself. I just couldn't get the answer. Well, they're on the tip of your tongue. Yeah. And they, they just wouldn't come through. Definitely. All right, Mark. Thanks very much indeed for the moment. Rebecca, keep cool. Good luck. It's time to be tested. Rebecca, your test starts now. Lead stories first. Have a look at this. Paul Donoghue and Jason Boyle were cleared in Portugal and face no charges here. Paul has two broken ribs. Jason has severe bruising. And some of the police admittedly said to us, maybe you haven't done anything, but you pay for your English friends. Eight England supporters deported from Portugal had their cases adjourned today at which court? Oxbridge Magistrates. Correct. At Euro 2004, which Swiss player was sent off against England? Bernd Haas. Correct. National news and the bodies of five basking sharks have washed up on the coast of which county? Teesside? No, it's Cornwall. Take a look now at this. Seen in today's newspapers, that's Elliot Cox and his twin who both broke their arms on the same day. What is the name of Elliot's brother? Mitchell. Correct. Weetabix has redeemed a coupon sent in by Audrey Jones after how many years? Seventy. Correct. News from abroad and the Spanish government has abandoned controversial plans to divert which river? Move on. It's the Ebro River. Some footage for you now. The question is how frank will the ex-president be on personal matters? For instance, the Monica Lewinsky affair. I think I did something for the worst possible reason. That just because I could. What is the title of Bill Clinton's autobiography? My Life. Correct. Financial news. In which country is to reintroduce a 100% tax on foreigners buying land? Greece. No, it's Sri Lanka. Who's been confirmed as chairman of the US Federal Reserve for a fifth time? Move on. It's Alan Greenspan. Arts and the entire chorus of the Scottish opera was made redundant last night just before a performance of which opera? Barbarem. Correct. Entertainment news and which pop duo forgot the words of their new single at its unveiling? The Cheeky Girls. Correct. Please look at this. That is actor Will Smith on the set of his latest film. What is it called? Move on. It's the last first kiss. Who is pictured in today's tabloids having his shoes carried for him as he strolls along a beach? Justin Timberlake. Correct. Please listen to this. And when the time comes round, we will be duty bound. That's Paul McCartney with From a Lover to a Friend. Today is his birthday. How old is he? 65. No, he's 62. What is the first name of the woman who managed to get past George Clooney's hotel security by dressing as a maid? <sighs> Lisa? No, it's Francesca. Sport, and which jockey rode the winner in the Gold Cup at Royal Ascot? Frankie de Torre. Correct. In football, which Brazilian-born Portugal player is reported to be on the verge of joining Chelsea? Luis Figo. No, it's Deco. Local news for you now, and a man's being questioned after a collision that seriously injured which senior policeman based in Lewisham? Don't know. It's DCS Tony Crofts. Rebecca, your test is over. You've scored nine points. So the headlines tonight on the cram. Kath's colour coding leaves her in the shade. Late night Leslie loses out. Airline worker Mark's flying high. And candidate's favourite Rebecca falls behind. The and finally test is next, and that's when the competition really hots up. Everything can change in the blink of an eye. But first, let's find out how our candidates got on in their solo efforts. Kath scored seven points, Leslie scored seven points, Mark scored 11 points, and Rebecca scored nine points. There's a £1,000 up for grabs, and anyone can still win it, so take my advice and be bold. The and finally test is a nerve-wracking affair, but fortunately, the rules are simple. Michelle asks a question, and if the candidates think they know the answer, they hit their buzzer. They'll get two points if they're right, 
but they'll lose one if they're wrong. Now you start with the score you got in your solo tests. Good luck. The and finally test starts now. In a survey for a gardening magazine, which animal was voted cat? Cats. Correct. It was voted the worst pest. Which band sacked their drummer because he held up recording to take breaks to digest strawberries? It was razor light. Name the Sussex man who's escaped being jailed for parking his car. <coughs> Rebecca? Simon Taylor. Correct. He parked his car on a railway line. The last horse to survive the 1982 IRA bomb attack in Hyde Park has just died. What was his name? <coughs> Rebecca? Yeti. Correct. That was his name. He was the last to survive the IRA bomb attack in Hyde Park. The body of which late musician's gone on public display, Mark? Ray Charles. Correct, that's in Los Angeles. In which country are a family of five sisters going through operations, Mark? Saudi Arabia. Correct, they will become men. Which ex-England football star is to manage a Sunday league team in a follow-up, <coughs> Rebecca? Or Gascoigne. Correct, it's a follow-up to the TV programme Fash FC. A man in which country says that listening to football on the radio saved his life, <coughs> Rebecca? Sweden. Correct, that's while he was trapped in his car for four days. A first edition of which classic novel was up for auction, Mark? No, sorry. It was Jane Eyre and it was auctioned in New York today. Which Scottish football team are reported to have signed 13-year-old... <coughs> Leslie? Celtic. No, it was Glasgow Rangers, 13-year-old triplets. A 10-year-old is suing a bus driver for smoking on the job, Mark? Drink a cup of coffee. No, the answer was Argentina, the country in which that court case is taking place. Northern Irish experts after they lost the knack. Mark? Holland. No, it's Italy. Who's been named as the new editor of the Daily Mirror? Kath. Oh, no, it's gone. <laughs> I didn't know that. Richard Walker? No. No, it's gone. No, it was Richard Wallace. Restaurants in southern China have been closed down because the food was found to be laced with what? Mark? Opium. Correct. What is the name of the Portsmouth baby who was born on the same date as both... Mark? Chloe Simpson. Correct. She was born on the same date as both her father and her grandfather. Officials have reported an increase in copycat violence five years after the introduction of TV in which country? <coughs> Rebecca. Um... Bhopal? No, the answer was Bhutan. That completes the and finally round. So tonight's closing headlines are... Leslie scored six points, Kath scored eight points, Mark scored 16 points, and Rebecca scored 16 points. There can only be one winner in the cram, so Mark and Rebecca, as your scores are level, stay on your buzzers for the tie-break question. Same rules as before, Michelle asks a question and the first one to hit the buzzer has the chance to answer. Get it right, you win. Get it wrong, you lose. A man in Margate was bitten by a tropical huntsman spider when he opened a bag of... Mark. Bananas. That is correct and that completes the tiebreak. To our losers, don't be too downhearted. To Mark, don't be too shy to ask what I'm drinking. You've won a thousand pounds, come up here been collected. Many congratulations. Do you fancy betting it on England to win Euro 2004? Uh, I don't know. I think they'll do it, but I wouldn't bet that much. All right. right. <laughs> well done. Thanks very much for taking part. Go Thanks and have a nice. seat. Thanks to all our candidates and especially our winners. That's it for tonight. Thank you for watching The Cram. From both of us, it's good night. Good night.